So you just bought an hairbot and you charge it up for the first time. And when it's time to play with it, you notice that one battery of the airbots is having battery low. Or probably both airbots are not working. In this video, I'll share with you how you can fix that without wasting much of your time. Let's get down to business. So the first thing to do here is to know which one is affected. If it is the left airbot or the right airbot or both airbots are not working. To know which airbot is not working or the one that is affected, you have to connect just one airbot to your smartphone. Now, when you connect airbot, you can return the second one back to the charging case. So you are going to go to your Bluetooth settings and check for battery level of this single airbot. And it's going to show you the level of this single airbot. If it's at 100%, then you can do the same to the second one and connect only the right one this time and check the battery level. Once you know the one that is not working or the one that is affected, then you can do the next step. The next step is to disconnect it and delete it from your Bluetooth list of your smartphone. As you can see, mine is connected here. I'm using New Age as an example. Mine is connected here, so I'm going to go to the gear icon by the side like this and use the option forget, not disconnect, forget. So it's going to clear it from my Bluetooth history. All right, as you can see, is no longer on my Bluetooth history or peer device list. Now, what I'm going to do next is to clean the affected airbots with ventilator spirit and cotton board. So I'm going to get the container and get two cotton boards and get a good quality ventilator spirit. So just collect some quantity like this. This has been happening sometimes to new airbots, so I know what I'm saying. Now, the next thing to do here is to now clean up this guy like this. Clean up this connecting part, this contact portion like this, and use the other tip to dry it up. All right? Please don't use too much of spirit. Just clean it this way. And do the same to the other side. That is the second one. And clean it up like this. Now, go to the charging case and open it up like this. Take the second cutting board, dip it into the ventilator spirit and clean the poco pins inside the charging case like this. Okay, make sure it is touching those ungo pins. Clean the second one too. Okay, like this. Now use this other dry side to clean it up. Okay. Once you have done this, you are good to go. Now, the next step to do is to now return the airbots back to their charging case like this and close the lid and charge it up. Please use the recommended charger. Most times, these manufacturers will tell you to use 5 volts or 5 volts 2 ampere. That is, your adapter and charger should be 5 volts 2 ampere, 10 watts maximum. So, you can now charge it up for 30 minutes and check again because there's nothing wrong with my home so there's nothing that is going to show i've seen some airbots that actually did that and this is what i did to them and they will just start working fine so once you are done with that you can now bring it out once again like this then switch on your bluetooth and connect it as you can see it is connected now if you notice that the airbot is still not working, that is after you have charged it for 30 minutes and you have cleaned it and you try to connect it to your phone and one of it is not working or both of them are still not working, then what I would suggest to do is to reset the airbot. Because there are a lot of airbots, one reset procedure may not work for another. So like this new age now, there is reset button at the back. So I'm just going to press it for like five seconds and it's going to reboot this airbot all right so some other airbots may need you to tap them like tap them or double tap them or triple tap them and they will go off and switch on again and you can now you know connect it back so depending on the one that you are using just check out how to reset it in the user manual and you are good to go these are the two ways that i think you should be able to reset or get your airbot working if it is a new one now if you have tried these two method reset option and the cleaning method and it is still not working what i would suggest you do is to return it back to the seller 
or where you bought it from because there is no way you can do it again it's better you return it once you have tried the reset option and the cleaning option just return it back to the seller if it is still not working that could be a faulty unit so with that being said that will be all for today's video and i will see you on the next one showing right on your screen bye for now peace